and moving a trailer can be as simple as that. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas, and today we're taking a look at this incredibly cool teardrop trailer. This is the New Camp Tag XL with the Boondock package. Extremely lightweight, extremely easy to tow. Looks absolutely beautiful behind a Jeep and many other vehicles. Really excited to show it to y'all. Let's go. All right, y'all, again, today we're taking a look at this 2023 New Camp Tag XL. You can see the really nice looking chrome sticker there with the tag logo on it. You have the boondock emblems all over this trailer here or this RV. And I specifically say RV because I really quickly just want to end this debate once and for all since it probably said RV somewhere in the title. And I already know there is a keyboard warrior going to town saying that's not an RV. And it is. It is a recreational vehicle. So I have the definition of vehicle pulled up here where you can see it says a thing used for transporting people or goods, especially on land, such as a car, truck or cart. There is nothing in the definition of vehicle saying that it has to have an engine on there. So that would make this a recreational vehicle, just like this is a recreational vehicle and this is a recreational vehicle and these are recreational vehicles. They're all recreational vehicles. This is just a travel trailer. That's a fifth wheel. This is a motor home and there's different classes of motor homes, but they are all RVs. So if somebody wants to have that debate and continue that debate, you're welcome to, but facts will not be on your side on this one. So just wanted to get that out of the way because over the years I have had that debate many, many times in the comment section and hopefully we can end that once and for all. So now as we look through this new camp trailer, first I wanna go over all the boondock packages because that is really what makes this one so much nicer than like a new camp tag. This boondock package is a pretty unique package that gives it such a rugged, cool look to it and it pairs so well with something like a Jeep Wrangler here. Shout out to my sister-in-law. This is her Jeep that we are using for this video today. So it has a three inch lift on it with 20 inch wheels just to give you a perspective of the height on this new camp trailer here. And real quick, while we're talking about the height, let's knock out the specs real quick. Now, when you're on new camps website, you do have to be mindful that you have to scroll down to the very, very bottom to get the exact specs for the tag XL with the boondock package. So that is what we are looking at here. The tag XL with the boondock package is 95 inches wide. It is 80 inches tall. It has a tongue weight of 153 pounds. So that's gonna be the weight that is sitting right here. So how much weight is then transferred onto the hitch of your vehicle. And then you have a total dry weight of 1,486 pounds. So without anything in this, this is 1,486 pounds. To be safe, I would say that you should be looking at vehicles that have at least a 2,000 pound towing capacity to tow something like this or higher. Um, a Jeep like this, I believe it has a, a 4,500 pound towing capacity if I remember correct. So very easily could tow this. There also are bigger teardrop trailers out there than this. So stay tuned for those because I do have videos coming of various different size teardrop trailers as well. Um, but this is gonna pair really well with a Jeep Wrangler like this, whether it's a two door or a four door and many other SUVs and vehicles out there that you may have and even some smaller cars like Subarus and whatnot. So that's what really makes this unique. And then you do have a wider stance here. It's two inches wider on the Tag XL than you have on a standard Tag, if I remember correct. So let me look at that here. Yeah, your Tag XL is going to be two inches wider. So just wanted to clarify that as well. So that'll give you a bigger sleeping space. Now we're gonna go through the boondock package stuff because that is really what makes this special. And we'll kind of walk around so you can get a look at the whole thing all the way around as we go through this. But you're gonna have the 15 inch sport rims here. So those look really nice. They have that tag specific emblem on them as well. And then you have the aggressive off-road tires. So this is gonna be your Goodyear Wrangler tires. They're a trail runner all-terrain tire that you have on there. So really nice, clean looking tire. Let's see if they have the uh, tire sizes on here. You can see the tire sizes right there. It's a 235, 75, 15 on those. As you back up, you're going to have the aluminum utility platform. So that is this right here. 
where you will not have this platform on one that does not have the boondock package. So it comes with that as well. It gives you that space there for additional storage. You have the boondock entry handle and graphics, which is this right here that we're taking a look at. Looks really, really clean. Definitely a nice little touch there. And all these things are just so much more premium than what you get on your standard travel trailers like what we're looking at here, which is another reason why this trailer might be something that is a little bit more on the higher end price point than something that may be a little bit bigger that is not just the same quality, if you get what I'm saying. And hopefully as we go through this video, you know, you can tell me if you think this is worth the money or not, because this is at right around $21,000, $22,000 as a sales price here. So there are trailers that you can get uh, that will be a much, <laughs> whoa, I don't know what just came out of my mouth there, but my tongue started going crazy. But <laughs> there will be a lot of trailers out there that will be a lot larger than this around the same price, but not even close to the same quality. So we'll get into more of that. You have the heavy duty entry doorstep, which we just took, took a look at there. And this is different than what was in the 22 model where they made it this black metal finish there that has a matte finish to it, looks really, really clean. You have the pitched axle, so that is allowing it to sit up higher off the ground. So when you come down underneath here, your axle is pitched, which is basically meaning that it is just sitting up higher off the ground to give you more ground clearance and making this easier for going off road. You have the interior cargo pouches, which we'll take a look at that in just a second. And then the custom diamond plate fenders, which is gonna be all this up here. So how this is that diamond plate up on the front, your diamond plate on everything up here as well. And then finally, your rack on the roof. So that is everything as part of the boondock package there. And let me make sure I don't miss anything else. I think that's pretty much everything for right now. So let's take a look at the inside real quick because the outside is pretty dang cool, but I do want to show you what you're looking at inside here. You basically are just getting a bed on wheels. And this here, this space is pretty large. It is the XL. So I'm not going to get in here just yet, but I will in just a minute. As I come in here though, and just sit down, first of all, one of the quality differences you're looking at is this is all solid hardwood. There are literally hardly any travel trailers out there that have a stained hardwood finish on the inside, even in like your 60, $70,000 price range. Um, so that's something here where you're getting a really nice, good quality there. And then it does have hidden hinges, so you don't see the hinges. It looks uh, really clean on all your cabinetry. You have these lock handles on some of these ones here that open up like so, and they will stay open on their own. You have your solar charge controller there. So that's gonna be monitoring the charge going from your solar panel to your batteries. Of course you have an AC in here. Oh, also this here is a soft close hinge. So you have that. I wish that everything in here was soft close. I don't know why they didn't do a soft close on these cabinets. That's kind of annoying, but it is what it is. You have your AC in here, so you will be able to keep it cool. And you do have a furnace in here, so you will be able to keep it warm. Plus you have a nicer heavy duty vent fan up here as well. So that will also be venting out any air in here to help keep it cool for you. You have some light switches up here for your porch light and your ceiling light. And then you have, oh, actually they added these here too. These were not in the model last year. So they added these little cubby pouches right there so that you have some additional storage on each side. Now, how most people sleep, they will put their feet typically on that end so their head is not under anything. And I am 6'2", and laying down, my head is touching the nightstand area behind me, and my feet are not touching there. So I would say this bed is probably about 6 foot 3 inches long, maybe 6 foot 4 inches. Um, definitely can fit comfortably, though, with how much width is here. So if you need to bend your legs or anything, you could definitely... You know, sleep with your wife here if y'all are traveling together, or even if you're, you know, just have a buddy that you're traveling with and y'all are comfortable sharing a bed, you have plenty of space. Also want to show, I'm just sitting with my back up against the sidewall here and have plenty of leg room there. So it's easy to hang out in this space as well and feel comfortable if you just need to get out of the rain or whatever. You know, it's not ideal compared to some other travel trailers where you may have a table or something like that, but it can be done. Come into this space, again, all solid hardwood cabinetry finishes here. You have these cubbies there, nice reading lights for each individual. That's why most people will sleep with their head on this side. And then you do have this sliding storage right here as well. So that'll just open up, not very deep back through there, but it is, you know, utilized space essentially. This here is 
Oh, a cup holder. Interesting. I didn't know what that was at first, but you have a little cup holder there that flips down. So you flip that down and put that back up like so. Same thing on the other side. This here is where your fire extinguisher would be. And then looking at this here, this is your pricing real quick for the MSRP. You get that there. You can see you have your convenience package, your boondock package, and that's pretty much it. Your MSRP comes out to $29,650. And again, we have these available right around $21,000, $22,000 for sale. So I am in a sales position. If you are interested in purchasing this RV, I would love to personally help you out in assisting you in doing that. Um, I definitely like to mention that in my videos because I literally had somebody on our lot with another salesperson here as I was in the middle of making this video and doing some of the intro shots for it, come up and say, hey, you're the YouTube guy. And he didn't ask for me, of course, because that's how it usually goes, which is fine. You know, I don't expect everybody to ask for me, but I'm here to help you. You know, if you see my videos on YouTube, especially if you're in Dallas and can come here personally, I'm here to help. This is what I do. Um, I don't get paid to come make these videos. I am not paid by the manufacturers or my dealership. I do it on my own time to help people like you find the RV that you want and to also further assist you beyond just seeing the videos and helping in person when you come to the store. So you can reach out to me. I'd love to personally help you out. There's a link down below in the description of the video and a number in the corner there where you can text me and I would love to help you in assisting you in finding your next RV. So, okay, last couple details as we go through the inside on your windows, these here are going to have a day and a night shade. Now, this here is showing just the reality of RVs. This is a pretty premium, nice shade that you have here, but immediately, like the first couple times you use it, it's stupid annoying how it just bunches up like that. That would drive me crazy. So it does take a little bit of patience just to get it to wind up correctly the first couple times. Again, this is brand new too. So this is probably the first time this has even been moved. You have this nice big window here, and then you do have a privacy shade that comes up from the bottom, and then these latch together there so you can move them up and down in unison. But every window will have that privacy shade, and it will have this bug screen here. All your windows are dual pane. So this is literally the only travel trailer on my lot here that will have dual pane windows. And this is a massive stargazing window. I mean, you can imagine what your view will look like at night or wherever you may be at when you wake up in the morning and are able to look out that. And then you have these really cool mechanisms here to pop open the window. So once you disconnect these latches here, you'll be able to pop this open like so. And you just twist this right here to lock that up. Twist this there to lock that up and your window will now stay open. It opens pretty dang wide as well. I didn't open it all the way, but you can see just there how wide that opens up. And then again, you have your bug screen here for that. All your windows in here do the same thing. So this window on this side and this window on this side have the same curtain system, have the same uh, mechanisms for opening. And then this is your cargo pouch that they were talking about in the boondock package that you have. You also have this privacy screen right here. So this is pretty cool how this works there. You just twist this back and forth and that'll give you your privacy on those windows. And this here is a temperature sensor. So it looks like this is what is working with your AC system. Another light switch up here for your porch light on that side. And then again, this is just a cool little nice hardwood finish that you have up here that gives it a pretty clean overall look. Outlet over here, AC fan switch right here, vents for your AC on that wall. This is gonna be breakers and fuses underneath here. And that's pretty much everything. Let me hop out real fast. It's a beautiful day. It is December in Dallas and it's like 75 degrees out here. Pretty unreal. Flip this up. You have all this storage down underneath here as well. So storage all throughout here. This is gonna be another space that you can utilize that is framed out underneath there. And then this mattress, just grab that there and it will fold back down. So you have that on both sides, storage on both sides that can be utilized. And that is pretty much everything on the inside because there's just not a whole lot there to talk about to begin with. So something interesting to keep in mind too with this RV is that it does not have a bathroom in it. It does not have a sink except for in the back area. It doesn't have you know water supply on it. So everything is fully enclosed underneath here. Pretty simple and straight to the chase on that. And then as you come back around this way, also, I don't know that I mentioned, but the spare tire was not there for the 2022, 2021 model. So that was something they added on as part of this boondock package to have that spare tire as well. Come back to this side, you have your kitchen in the back. 
So I think, yeah, okay, this is where you, your only water drain is gonna be right down underneath there. So really simple, that is just for the sink. You can see you have this little tank down underneath here for that sink. But the rest of this is all your outdoor kitchen. So really nice, really cool setup back here. It's pretty premium. Again, all solid hardwood finishes on everything back here. You do have this high point microwave. So this is going to be, you know, like an RV size microwave that you have. Two burner stove. This is an actual like metal tile backsplash that you have here. All solid hardwood again. I know I keep mentioning that, but that's just because it's so rare in a travel trailer to have all solid hardwood. Outlets and US, or sorry, USB ports and then a um, whatever kind of power connection that is. I always forget what the heck this little power supply thing is called. And your two 110 outlets there. Oh, your 12 volt connection. There you go. Um, little hook here to hang some kitchen utensils and things like that. And then if you go look up some stuff on tag RVs as far as like accessories and whatnot, people really deck out their kitchen spaces back here, make them look really nice. You have some rail systems in here that can be utilized to do some really cool, unique stuff. As far as like maybe, you know, what a lot of people do is they put some sort of outside tent set up or a cover that covers this whole side of the RV. So when you step out, you have some cover there as well. A lot of different things that can be done. Now, check this out. This is pretty dang cool. Who the heck knew that Otterbox made coolers? Cause I know I did not know until I saw this for the first time, which this is not new for 2023, but this is something that I still think is really exciting and really cool. You have this portable cooler. It is very hard to explain the texture on here because it's almost like a rubberized material, but you can see it's by Otterbox. This one is made specifically for this new camp product. So that's kind of, you know, in partnership that they have there. And when you open this up, you have the nice solid latch there. And then it is this really cool kind of hunter orange inside there. Oh my gosh. It's 75 degrees outside and it is cold to the touch in there. So really, really premium insulation. You see the bag that it was wrapped in, uh, to be completely candid, I did uh, take that off so that it would show better. So I'm gonna put that back on um, before I'm done packing up this RV. It does have a bottle opener. So this is a metal bottle opener here and it will snap in to this port right here. As you can see, you have another snap right here that will allow you to hook up, you know, different maybe lanyards and stuff like that with something of that nature. And then you do have a strap on here as well that will allow you to carry this over your shoulder. So this is something that is just a really premium kind of cooler product, not like, you know, cooler as in it's cool, but it is cool, but it's a cooler, you know? So you're getting a really cool premium cooler with this. It has your handles on the side so you can easily carry it. Some other little, you know, accessories back here where you can, you know, put stuff in that pouch right there. You know what I mean? And even just like back here, it's very rugged. Just everything about the look and feel of this is rugged. Underneath here is the same kind of rugged finished material there. It's all a, like rubberized feel to it, but it has that texture to it that definitely makes you feel like you are outdoors. So that is what is utilized in this space, in this new camp Tag XL, and is a really cool premium product that you're getting from Otterbox to have a cooler when you're out on the go. Slide that back in there. And oh, it's also, it is called the Trooper 20. So this is the Otterbox Trooper 20, if you wanna look into that more in detail. That's everything with your kitchen back here. This will just go down like so. Even little nice touches like LED light strip where your drivers, uh, or where your plates are right there. I just noticed that as I was putting it down. See your new camp emblem that you have on here? Looks really nice, has a good finish to it. And then the one thing I'm a little confused about to be completely honest is there are solar plugs right here and there is no solar panel. So I don't know if it's a solar panel that we need to put on here that just hasn't been installed yet or what, or if it didn't come with a solar panel. I'm pretty sure it did though, because every tag should come with a solar panel. So I think we just need to get the solar panel installed on the roof part right there. But you do have the plugs there for solar and it has a solar charge controller inside. Also want to point out real quick, different than all your other travel trailers out here that have what is called a TPO roof. It's like a thermo plastic composite material. It's pretty flexible and rigid, but it's, you know, a little bit closer resembles rubber, even though it's not, it's just like a flexible kind of plastic material. This here is a one piece fiberglass roof all the way around.
So that is another thing that is very premium about this travel trailer here where very, very few travel trailers will have a single piece fiberglass roof on them that is definitely going to help with you know water intrusion at any point in time in owning your RV over the lifespan of owning your RV. Less maintenance that you have to do over time, I should say, because you can definitely prevent that in these as well. They just require a bit more maintenance. So you have that coming down underneath here. This is your plug here if you wanted to do some sort of antenna for TV. You do have connection here for your 30 amp plug. Going to have your water connections here to, it looks like uh, you do have a water capacity in here. So you can fill up your tank and then you do have a city water connection point here. So this is going to just be for the sink that is back in this area. That's really your only water source. And then down underneath here, or actually that's not true. You have your hose right here as well. It's gonna come with this coil hose that will pull out so you do have a hose compartment there and it looks like it will have, yeah, it has a whole um, kind of hose handle on it as well. It's all kind of coiled up there, but you can see when I get this, it has this nozzle on the end that's all kind of tucked back in there. So really nicely kind of put together the way they tuck that back in there and it just slides right in and fits in there real nicely. And that is pretty much everything on this side. Um, last little couple touches. You do have a little latch here that will catch the door. So when you open this up, you can see how that latch is in place right underneath there. Hold that door open. And then other real nice premium thing that you have is the Asdell composite sidewall. So you're getting an Asdell sidewall, which means it is all composite materials. It's no wood, no Luon or anything like that. So. That is going to mean that this sidewall material could be fully submerged in water. It's not going to incur any water damage if that ever were to have water exposure, which is going to give you a nice premium sidewall that should last a very, very, very long time. So everything about this trailer really is built to last a very, very long time. Up front, you have your tongue jack here. So it will be a manual tongue jack. You will crank that up and down. Some of the things on here are manual just because of the uh, easeability of getting up and going real quick. And a lot of this stuff can be done with hand or by hand, moving the trailer included. So reasons for that as well. Open this up real quick. And you have your propane down underneath here. So you'll have your propane bottle there. And then you do have your battery disconnect switch in here as well. So you can kill all the power coming from the battery with that one switch to conserve your battery power. Close that up with these little rubber latches here. Another little kind of storage area up front and your nice grab handles here so you can move this trailer by hand. And that is pretty much everything on this New Camp Tag XL. Definitely, again, looks really clean when behind a Jeep like this. All right, y'all, that's all I got for you. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are interested in this RV, I would love to personally help you out in assisting you in making it yours. So you can text me at the number up on the screen or there's a link down below in the description of this video as well. Again, we have this thing listed right at around $21,000, $22,000. So there is also room for negotiation in there as well and would love to help you out in making this RV yours if this is something that you're interested in. Also, stay tuned because I have more videos of more teardrop trailers coming soon. So stay tuned for that. That's all I got for y'all. Until next time, I'll see you out camping.